have a house that has a separated garage with a bonus room above it, and we had a deck that's probably 18 foot in the air that connected the main house to the bonus room. So the deck was probably about 15 years old that was on it, and we started noticing some of the plank boards were starting to rot and you know needed to be either replaced or refinished and the deeper we dug into it we realized that it was probably time just to redo that upper deck on the house. As we got into looking at replacing the deck um, the contractor came to us and told us that we had a small problem that whoever had built the original deck had actually used the brick fascia on the garage as the mounting point which is very unsafe and we you know, needed to figure out a way to not do that. It was not built properly. It was unsafe. So we were trying to figure out a way to rebuild it. The problem is, is right underneath it was a door and the homeowner did not want to have post. The deck that was there was completely self-sustaining or it seemed to be that way. So, you know, you, you couldn't really see it was attached to both sides of the house and the garage without anything coming to the ground. And that's what we wanted. We wanted a fully open concept, if you will. So we were trying to figure out a way to make it work. And at that moment, my engineer uh, told me about this new product, the BVLZ, and that it was a possibility it might work. So he introduced me to a rep with Simpson Strong Tie. She came out to the lady's house, she verified. She literally crawled into tight spots just to make sure it was the right fit, that it was gonna work for the product. And my first experience with the, the brick ledger hardware was I thought it was something from outer space. Um, all these huge connecting screws and large pieces of steel. Wasn't really sure what to make of it. But so I remember talking with the contractor and trying to discuss how you would go and install this. How do you go about placing it properly? Um, and so we even reached out to the local Simpson Strong Tie rep who actually came to the job site during installation to help provide some instruction and guidance on how the proper way to install it, and even took some lessons from our experiences out in the field that I think will later be used in Simpson Strong Ties literature to help for provide a little bit of best practices in the installing of the brick ledger. Before the, the brick ledger attachment hardware came out, um, we really limited the amount of solutions that we could employ. We could provide posts up against the existing brick ledger that provide a little header that any kind of framing would sit on top of or we would actually have to strip away the brick and apply some of the new deck attachment directly to the building. Most around this area, the brick facade don't have any brick ties to the, the underlying structure, so it's not really a reliable structural component that you could tie anything to. So we were very limited with our options until this brick ledger uh, hardware came out and it's really provided a lot, of, a lot of answers to some of the troubles that we were coming across. By using the BVLZ, we're not putting the weight on the veneer. So we're taking that risk away of damaging the existing veneer and going straight into the rim board. And by doing that, it's more structurally sound. We love our deck now. It has nothing going into the ground. It's completely self-sustaining above us. It didn't mess up any of the flower beds, the trees, the plants. You know, the brick's still completely intact, which was a big piece of what we wanted. My wife was not going to be happy if we had to cut her brick down. My daughter, my son, they used the deck quite a bit, and beforehand we were pretty afraid to let them go on it. We actually stopped them from using the deck. Once it was completed, we now use that deck on a daily basis. My daughter has turned it into her own little space. Great to see her use that, and we feel very comfortable at this point now knowing that it's attached to the wall the way it should be. I have used the brick ledger in a couple other projects. After our experience with the one with the bridge at the residential home, I've used it in other decks around the area, and each time that I've inspected, the contractors had lots of questions. But once they've found out how they've installed one of the brackets, the rest of the installation goes fairly complete. I stand by this 100%, actually doing another deck right now with it. Like I said, it's a structurally sound product. It's, it's better alternative than using bolts and just looks great. It looks like a finished product should look.